Okay, so let, let's, go, let's go to news. Right, I got it. Thank you. Uh, Texas Governor Rick Perry's campaign is on the defensive over a report in the what? Washington Post about his family's old hunting camp, which had a racially charged name. The Post report says the racial epithet was visible on a rock at the entrance of the camp as recently as three years ago. Perry's campaign maintains the name was changed soon after Perry's father leased the property almost 30 years ago. Richard looks a little bored. Herman Cain, the only African-American Republican presidential candidate, responded to the story yesterday. That isn't a more vile, negative word than the N-word, and for him to leave it there as long as he did before I hear that they finally painted over it, over it, it's just plain insensitive to a lot of black people in this country. Governor Perry's spokesman responded to Kane's comments and saying in part, Mr. Kane is wrong about the Perry family's quick action to eliminate the word on the rock. But it is right, but is right the word written by others long ago is insensitive and offensive. That is why the Perrys took quick action to cover and obscure it. Perry also grabbed headlines this weekend for some controversial remarks he made on military intervention. Now we've got some news here. Speaking to voters in New Hampshire on Saturday, the governor said he would consider sending U.S. troops into Mexico to combat drug-related violence. So, okay, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. He wants to invade Mexico. Right. And yet members of the Texas legislature said for years, and friends said for years, reported the Washington Post, that they were concerned that the Texas governor mm. had a camp mm. that was called right. such an offensive name. You Correct. don't think that's news? Uh, I do. I do. When the Washington Post uh, talks to state legislators and lobbyists who say we'd go out to the camp and his camp would be called something so vile and offensive it's that anybody... It's terribly offensive, Well, yeah. but you said it's not news. No, I just think this Mexico thing is really... Well, I think him wanting to invade Canada. Mexico is news, too. Richard Haas, yeah. let's okay, ask Okay, let me you. ask you a question. Hold on. Yes. Do you do support you think, the invasion of Mexico? Uh, I'm no. sorry, go ahead. Do you think the word that is on the rock that was removed three years ago is a word that Rick Perry is running around screaming wildly uh, at people. Well, first of all, it's not just a I'm name just on the rock. According no, I just, to can the you Washington answer my question? Post, I am answering the, it's not just a name on the rock. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this, mm -hmm. if my camp right. that my father and I purchased right. had that name, right. it wouldn't... Uh, on, You'd be on, horrified. Uh, that name, we would probably not buy it and then if we did buy it we would make sure that the day we bought it the right. rock were removed and we would put up a new sign the fact that that's what this camp was called until five years ago mm -hmm. that the sign on the entrance of the camp had that i mean you just anybody that would allow that to happen while members of the Texas leg legislature just it, it shows such an extraordinary racial insensitivity that then I think it's disqualifying. Okay. And I would say that of anybody that, that was running in this race, if what the Washington Post is saying is true. Okay. And so, again, I ask you, and then we're not going to we really have a lot to do here, including... No, you don't Denmark. have to run around and say uh, it. You don't have to run okay. around and scream just, and say it. Is it representative it, of I, his it's, thinking? It's, it's representative of a racial insensitivity okay. that I think is disqualifying I think for, it's representative for any, of a, any member of Congress or a governor or a president. Okay. I don't think it's even a close call. Okay. I, could you imagine driving past a sign that's like that? I'm not on saying your it's not forever? big. I okay. really think the let's Mexico thing is really, really interesting so let me about ask Rick you, Richard, Perry. Richard, what does it say about Rick Perry that he wants to invade Mexico? Thank you. Uh, 